Hey everyone, Danny Burke here for The Score Esports. This week, we wanted to take a look at the richest players in esports. Who is absolutely rolling in it? But the thing is, we had a couple of issues with that question. There aren't many publicly available salaries in esports, and so we decided to go exclusively off tournament winnings. And more importantly, we realized that Dota players have won way more than anyone else in any other game because TI prize pools are kind of ridiculous. So we decided to break things up by game. We went down the list of the richest pros in esports and found the 10 highest earning players from 10 different games. That means each entry features the player who has won the most money in their respective game. But before we get into that, make sure you are subscribed to the Score Esports, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get more great videos just like this one. All right, so who is making the big bucks? Let's find out. Here are the top 10 richest players in esports by game. Starting off at number 10, we have the highest earning fighting game player of all time, Sonic Fox. To say that Sonic Fox is a legend within the fighting game community would be an understatement. To many, they're the single greatest player to ever touch Mortal Kombat. Coming under the wire, got the flaws blocked down to raise the push. Block Andrew, but no offense for it. Back things up, gets one of that punch. He's gonna give it to Andrew. And Sonic Fox is your evolution 2019 champion. But Sonic Fox is a champion in more than just Mortal Kombat. They've won EVO championships in Dragon Ball Fighters and Injustice, as well as dominated their opponents in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Skullgirls, and plenty of other games too. Do they go good? The reflect on the assist, trying, that's gonna be hard, and in oh! Dragon oh! Sonic Fox does it! Super Saiyan 4, he's gonna end Goichi's undefeated reign! They did it! Their 60 first place trophies, including five EVO World titles, have helped Sonic Fox rake in an estimated $676,770 in earnings. For Sonic Fox though, winning isn't quite as important as silencing the haters. Um, guess all I gotta really say is that I'm gay, black, a fairy, pretty much everything a Republican hates, and the best esports player of the whole year, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're jumping over to Halo now for our number nine entry with Frosty. One player does step up to the plate. It's going to be APG on Fortnite. Oh, please, no scoping. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? No, 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 I no, 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 no. I don't think say anymore, man. It's no, like, no, no. Is it weird that I wasn't surprised that he hit that? Frosty is estimated to have earned around $686,000 from his tournament wins over the years across both Halo and Call of Duty. This makes him the highest earning Halo player of all time. Some Call of Duty fans will know him for smashing into the scene during Black Ops 4. And that's three snipes now for Frosty. They keep slow peeking him and he keeps hitting the shots. Frosty! Frosty gets four! But to everyone else, Frosty is a Halo legend, winning back-to-back -back championships with CLG in 2016 and then again with Optic in 2017. We are taking a look at the end of this game. Mick Quinn recognizing that this Three, one's over. Two, one. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Optic Gaming are your 2017 Halo World Champions. Now he's back on Halo again after joining Sentinels in 2020 and looking to take home more trophies and the dollars that come with them. We're leaping up over $200,000 now for our number eight entry, Loki, the highest earning PUBG player ever. If there's a PUBG tournament somewhere, you can expect Loki to either win it or die trying. They've used everything they've got here. Only the two times on the oh, F416 for Loki. Lands the headshot. Does he have the heals though? Loki's pushing up. Loki picks up the headshot win. 3v1 in the end against RV. The South Korean superstar has been with Genji for over three years now, winning multiple titles, including the World Championship in 2019. These have helped him bag an estimated $890,840 in tournament winnings so far, and he's showing no signs of stopping. 
Grenade goes off to the side, not going to connect with anyone now, and it's just about trying to figure out exactly where Doya is. The step up comes through, and it's going to be Navi taking the round. But the real story here is your 2019 PGC champions, Gen G. Having made more than $900,000 in his StarCraft career, it's no wonder that Serral comes in at number 7. Serral is a StarCraft prodigy, and one of the most exciting non-Korean players in the game's history. In 2018, he became the first foreigner to ever win a WCS Global Finals. And I don't think there's oh. any solution here for Stats! He's gonna commit! Serral overwhelming the air fleet of Stats! And that is it! G -G. G -G. Serral comes from a small farming village in Finland, but despite his unlikely beginnings, he has decimated just about every StarCraft opponent he's played against. But Serral says not today. He's gonna kite backwards. The Zealots are gone. The Archons are gone. We've got a champion of WCS Austin. It's Serral. Surprise, surprise. The best player wins it again. Serral's winnings are an estimated $912,000 to date, and although the pandemic forced StarCraft tournaments online, Serral is quite happy to cash his checks from home. The disruptors are going to try and fire, and they oh. get a shot, but it wasn't enough. Serral takes the game so abruptly. Coming in at number six is our unlikeliest entry, who also happens to be our first million dollar player. It's Feg, the richest Shadowverse player ever. Although he entered the 2018 Shadowverse Grand Prix as an underdog, he swept the competition to take home the $1 million grand prize. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, I'm so sorry. No. Wow! Oh, what a series, though! Unbelievable play from both players no. in this finals. Fake's gonna take it home. What's crazy is that this single victory accounted for most of his earnings and catapulted him onto this list. His total earnings stand at $1,003,000, but trust us, he's far from the richest player on this list. You can call our number 5 entry toxic, but Crim6 only cares about one thing, winning at all costs. Cat's going to kill! Grim drop! There it is! is dear here. God! On the crowd, let him know! That is a huge performance from Crim6! Crim6 is arguably the Call of Duty GOAT, and given the game's prize pools, it's not surprising to see that he's taken home some serious stacks in his day. Crim6 and Aegs have the front unlocked. TP watching the flank. One go away now, and Crim is going to do it! That is it! Complexity takes out Impact, and they are crowned the winners of MLG Anaheim! Crim6 has won an estimated $1,190,000 from tournaments over the years. Now that's partly due to him winning a lot of them, but also because he's been competing for almost a decade at this point across every iteration of Call of Duty. Oh my Damn, goodness! He can't contested! Do it. Contested! 247 apiece! Who's gonna get it? The time is ticking, but still 20 seconds! Grim, 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 Grim. When he parted ways with Optic in 2019, some doubted that he could remain at the top, but Krim proved them wrong with yet another World Championship win and the money that comes with it. And they win it. The flood's gonna be on through. Shot through the smoke for Krim. What? He's been massive in this series. There's the final kill. Dallas Empire are your 2020 Call of Duty League champions. Krim 6. Now undisputedly, the greatest Call of Duty player of all time! Coming in at number 4 is the richest League of Legends player of all time, with $1.2 million in tournament winnings. It's none other than the unkillable Demon King himself, Faker. Under turrets, uh -oh. Wolf coming in, double 6, they get the flash from Nagne, Faker comes in, he's got the ult, he's got the kill! After bursting onto the scene in 2013, it didn't take long for Faker to become the undisputed GOAT of League of Legends. He's won 9 domestic titles, 2 MSIs, and is one of only 2 players to win 3 World Championships in League's history. His many tournaments have earned him an estimated $1,250,000. And of course, we're contractually obliged to show you this clip. Before I think he's in the bed. Oh, Faker may be in trouble here, Death Mark. Tries to clean it up for Ryu. Oh, look at the class, look at the moves! Faker, what was that? 
Now, it's likely that Faker is even richer when you take salary and sponsorship deals into account. I mean, this guy is doing Doritos commercials in China. But none of those numbers are public, which means Faker is going to have to win Worlds again to really climb up this list. At just 24 years old though, time is definitely on his side. Do they have the damage though? Kunt is actually in that back line and Faker stays alive for the entire time. All the other carries on the side of DRX do go down. Really nice stopwatch though from Joseph staying alive. This is such a close fight and Faker's going to take it down in the end with a double kill as T1 will pick up the ace. Leaping up hundreds of thousands of dollars now and taking us into our top three, we have the wealthiest CSGO player in the game, Dupree. Now they're going to try and double push him. They don't have a kid currently picked up. That's a big problem. He gets another kill. Taken down. Oh, oh! Again! And again and again, Dupree winning it for Astralis 11-4. Dupree has been one of CSGO's best for years, and is one of only six players to have attended every single major. And he hasn't just attended all of them, Dupree, along with his Astralis teammates, have won more CSGO majors than anyone else in the game. According to esports earnings, Dupree has made $1,899,156.07, putting him just a couple of thousand bucks over his teammates' Zipex and Device. But all of Astralis' core members can rest easy knowing that basically no one else in CSGO can even come close to their prize winnings. A trend in a one versus four, and ladies and gentlemen, they've done it for the fourth time! Astralis win the BJ in Berlin! Leaping us up to $3 million, we have the richest Fortnite player of all time, and probably one of the richest kids on the planet, Booga. But ladies and gentlemen, there's no way anyone beats him! Your Fortnite World Champion, Booga! Booga shot to success faster than most pros can ever dream of. He played his first big event in 2018, a squads event hosted in a Microsoft store where he took home a share of $5,000. But by the following year, that would look like pennies. Booga won the Fortnite World Championship, taking home $3 million and blasting his total earnings to $3.1 million. Booga, still alive, shots going down, can't connect with that one, one build left, the final moment of Fortnite World oh Cup! Oh my gosh! Bow Drop. down! Surprise. Bow down to Booga! That win helped Booga catapult to fame and made him one of the richest esports players of all time. At least one of the richest esports players who doesn't play Dota, that is. Taking the number one spot on our list is the big daddy himself, No Tail. No Tail is the richest Dota player of all time, with $6.9 million to his name. But his OG teammates aren't too far behind. In fact, the five richest esports players of all time are the five members of OG that won back-to-back -back TIs in 2018 and 2019. GG is called OG, are your two-time TI champions! Dota players dominate any list of the highest earning pros in esports, mainly due to the international's prize pools dwarfing every other game. TI9 boasted a staggering $34 million for its prize pool. Even coming in fifth made you an instant millionaire. Hell, even players who haven't won TI are loaded. Arteezy is the 23rd richest esports player of all time according to esports earnings, making him richer than every non-Dota player aside from Booga, and he's never won TI or a Valve Major. As for No Tail, well, cashing the biggest check in esports twice, as well as plenty of earnings from other tournaments, means that he has more than enough cash to splash on things like his new mansion in Portugal. I'm spending one and a half on. Uh, we're. But I'm also giving myself another 300k to work with, uh, so up to 1.8. 1.8 million. Yeah. That's a lot of money. It's a good chunk. It's a good chunk. Yeah. 
All right, guys, there you go. Were any of those surprises, people that you didn't expect to be on there? Do you wanna see more rich or money-based videos from us in the future? Let us know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have you seen Tokyo? No. <laughs> Just protect him. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're in business, guys. Oh, oh he's strong. strong. It's really oh, strong. he's strong. <laughs> and it's, oh, oh, no, it's no. not. Ah, oh, he took the whole thing with him. That's why you play support. Oh. Because when it matters, we cannot call on you. <laughs>